Now, Toa Tahu has acquired a suit of Exo Toa armor that gives him greater control over fire. Uh, or not? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another recap review. Today I will be looking over the Exotoa. Set number 8557, the approximate amount of pieces is 360, and at time of release the set was about $35. So this is officially the second mech, you know, mechanical, controllable, humanoid being in Bionicle, and it's highly coveted. Let's get right into the pros. Pros immediately, it looks cool. I cannot really say this is a, a set issue. It's not, there's no technological gimmick. It just looks cool. It's a huge mech and it can contain Toa. So with that out of the way, next pro, blaster. Every mech needs a huge blaster. And the arms, the arms work well. And the blaster, it's your typical system blaster, you know, you Kind of push this back, rocket shoots out. Not very difficult to keep um, keep in sight. Now the pro would be uh, multiple functions. One, this arm. You press down here, shoots out in a punching motion. So that is really neat. The second, the uh, the second function would be this. This allows the Toa to go in. Another function which allows the toe to go in would be this. There is a gear system back here where when you turn it the head folds back very neatly. There's no hassle, it just folds back really nice. The other function would probably be these things. This is where the toa would put their feet but you know, there's actually needs to be a toa here in order for this to work. But and you know that does work so you can fold this back up you make it stay in place like so and then roll the head back up so that is really neat there's a lot of functions here now the pro would probably be the fact that its legs do move but this is the only axis it moves on and finally, the last pro would probably be a good color scheme. It's very, for being a mech, the color scheme's pretty consistent. There's a lot of silver, and the black is nice and clear. There's a huge Barak shield here. And it, it's just very consistent. The only thing that kind of stands out is the orange. I don't understand the orange or the red rubber bands. But that's that. So let's get on to the cons. Cons would probably be how the blaster, it, it kind of, it, if it, it's difficult to pose. This is not a good idea. This works, but that's about it. Maybe if you wanted this. But that, that's about it. It's difficult to pose. That goes for both of the arms. They don't have a very large amount of motion to them. This arm has more motion because of how this armor piece is connected but not so much this one so that's a con another con would definitely be the kind of weirdly placed orange I don't really understand what the orange is and kind of just there I don't really get it another con would probably be the legs how they're stiff there are no knees and they only go So that is very unusual, to say the, the least. Now the con, speaking of the legs or that area, be how these kind of do this. So just don't have them like that. That's about it. Um, another con would probably be the balance. This is an okay pose to have them in. This could cause you some trouble. Even though he's very top heavy, so these small feet, 
If you aren't careful, he can very easily be knocked over. So just keep that in mind. I kind of consider that a con. Another con is how this is not optional. It has to stay like that unless the Toa is in the cockpit. So, and I think that's about it. Probably the only other con I'd have to say would be these white pins here. I don't understand what their thinking was, just having white pins, but, you know, that's, that's about it. So, with all that out of the way, you know, the Exotoas here looks really cool, has a lot of great functions. How do they all stack up? Well, let's find out and put a Toa in it. Alright, so we have our Exotoa, we have Teletahu with his shiny golden Kanohi mask. So let's see if we can get him into this. So, true to form, let's pop this open. Turn the gear and roll his head back. And get the arms kind of out of the way. So he's ready for action. So we got Tahu here. Let's kind of get his arms kind of spread out there. And uh, we just put him in like this. I really am not sure how this is supposed to go. I guess it's sort of like this. I apologize if I'm just absolutely botching this. It's not very well advertised, I guess. I mean, it shows him in the actual Exotoa, but I don't really think it shows you how to get him in there. Okay, just keep struggling. There we go. So the gear goes right back there. Kind of convenient old place. Let's get the uh, feet thing down. Okay. Boy, this <laughs> this looks bad. I'm sure, you know, viewer watching this at home, you're just kind of slapping yourself in the face going, what an amateur. Well, it's because this is an amateur attempt. Well, we almost got it. We almost... There. Okay, that looks proper. That looks good enough. Head, get, go, go away. All right. Now that we've got him in, let's, uh, let's get him suited up. Okay, this should fold up like so, and you clip this, and boom. Tahu is ready for action. Kinda. Like I said, I don't exactly know the proper way, let's get, just get that out of the way, proper way to do this. So that's about as good as you're going to get from me. And now we have the balance issues. <laughs> so, with the Toa actually in the Exotoa, what do we have here? Well, the, the weight issue is a lot worse. The balancing is by far uh, worse. It is very unbalanced. This looks cool, on the other hand. However, as you all saw, it is kind of difficult to get them in there. Now, granted, that might just be my fault, because I'm not exactly sure how he's supposed to go in there properly. I mean, the end result, that looks fairly proper. However, I'm not particularly sure how to get that working. So what you saw, that's all I knew. Now, a little bit of a key note. This whole arrangement here does not work for Onua and Pohatu. Only Tahu, Gali, Kopaka, and Liwa. Keep in mind, you can make it work for Pohatu and Onua. However, it takes modification to the Exotoa itself in order to get that to properly work. I'm not going to show that here. Take too much time. So, that's about it. I hope you have enjoyed. That has been the Exotoa. And next week, I'm going to go over its opponent, the Barag. So I hope to see you all there. I hope you have enjoyed. Thanks for watching.